I have a question for you guys. Do you want to rank top 10 in the Lost Canyon and win a lot of coins? If you do, watch this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do it now because I'm going to give you the best guides in Rise of Kingdoms. I am Shinchi42, sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. If you guys want to see more detailed text guides in Rise of Kingdoms, make sure to check out ROK that guide. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. As you guys can see, I am finally rank nine. How did I did this? I'm going to give you my tip on how I did it with my archer gang setup slash infantry gang setup. With this video, you may be successful next time you play canyons. So it's been a struggle playing as an archer setup in the canyons. As you can see, there's only two players in our kingdom right now that are in the top 10. It's very difficult to move into the top 10. I finally made it, but it cost me a lot too. It took me a lot of tries to get here and took me um, things to figure out what I need to do with my setup. Now, as you can see, I even tried to defeat the number one. I just couldn't do it. I believe that the number one, which is Mad Phantom uh, or Mad, he's like a you know much, much more bigger whale than me. I, he definitely has so much better equipments than me overall with his marches that are spread out. But I've actually done a pretty good. I think I made it up to like two marches left on him. Um, but it's definitely a struggle. I did it. I tried it. Um, I also had difficulty in the beginning with uh, Ruland. So I finally made the breakthrough and defeat him here. And then when I defeated Lionheart is what really got me to this rank 9 spot. Now, it is not an easy thing. It wasn't a one-shot thing. I lost the first one and I adjusted on the second battle. Now, let me show you what I actually did on winning uh, on the ruler first. And then we can go into the Lionheart. Alright, so this is the winning part when I won against Ruland. So what I've done in here is that I have my three DPS marches in here on the side and I have my super tank march and then I have my uh, buffer. Okay, so I made sure that I have my buffer in here. I kind of don't like that my, my march have to go all the way out here because you know, it's much smaller area for me to get buffed. So with here, as you can see, is that we're doing quite well um, we're definitely getting buffed in here with uh, the Joan of Arc and my tank is doing an excellent job maintaining, keeping the DPS march that he has in that one little area. And as my DPS march moved towards him, I'm able to attack on the back side, not on the front side, which is very crucial. I slowly eliminate everything in this um, little portion of the map at the bottom, as you can see. Now, with this setup, it's really good because my Richard really did his job. Tremendous and amazing work. It's very neck and neck battle, but as you can see, every single march I have surviving in here. And Guan Yu can only target like the fan shape area, right? So he's able to target the one, you know, who is facing, but I'm able to attack him from behind here. And I have my Edward really doing a lot of massive damage as well. So that is my setup. My Richard did an amazing tank. So I think it's worth it to look at the losses in here so you guys can see what, I, what I've done in here. It's kind of horrible. As you can see, I even have Artemisia. Um, so that's something that you guys wouldn't do. I like to experiment, try things out, and see if it's going to work out for me. Um, so as you can see, I have Artemisia and Edward here. I don't think they change, you know, the setup in here. He was offline. He wasn't able to switch up the defense. Um, here, my uh, DPS marches are going to get eliminated quicker than um, when you saw the winning one. Uh, it took me a long time to defeat his march here. It's, you know, uh, Martel and the Zun 2. So... You have to understand that, you know, a lot of things in here in the canyon is really a lot of the percentage based thing. Now, my Martel and Joan of Arc is getting eliminated. Now, that's really bad because now my 
debuff or my buffer is gone right i still have my debuffer which is richard and you know you know removing the damage uh from constantine as well still here but i lost a big um support right now so my dps are gone as you can see guan yu is dead um ramses is dead now my artemisia it's doing well now you're probably wondering why i put edward uh, with Artemisia, I wanted to test things out with a defensive tree, and I want to switch things up a little bit in there. Um, with Artemisia and uh, Edward, you get that 40%, I think it's 40% health for the archers. But honestly, it was too late already, and we we really got wrecked with um, the Martel and the Zun 2 there. So that's why we switched things up in here. Now, let's move into um, the Lionheart. This is how I move... Uh, into rank 9. As you can see, I'm still rank 9. I can't believe it! <laughs> um, so, I can't tell you what you can do with your account because like, we will have uh, very different combinations of commanders. You will have different investments than me. But I guess I can only tell you what I did to get into this position. Um, and maybe you can finagle or kind of you know, twist your own strategy to uh, what I'm going to be telling you and how I really uh, improved in here. So, um, I will first show you my lost first before I show you the win this time because I made another changes after this. All right. Um, so, it's going to be a similar strategy. We have pretty much similar marches when we won with Ruland. Um, but I did a major change as well, um, going into the next part in here. All right, so let's go and watch this real quick. Okay, so let's see what I've done in here. What kind of craziness I have done. Okay, so um, I have my marches, as you can see, it was in the back. Those are my tank. Oh, I know what I did here. It's a big mess up. Um, as you can see, this Martel is on the other side. And you see the circle? It's not buffing, really. I mean, it. I don't think it was. It wasn't really buffing my um, my marches here. So I was uh, losing that, and at the same time, the tankiness is not there. Like this march is not tanky. This is a buffing march. Now my Richard and Constantine is doing quite well, doing really good, honestly. But uh, as I lose Martel and Joan of Arc, plus I didn't get the buff. Now, Guan Yu can now attack me, right? And he is very strong. It's Guan Yu Leonidas, a very good. My march just starts <laughs> disseminating or disappearing, I guess, or dissolving. Not disseminating, dissolving. Uh, as Guan Yu comes to the show, I'm getting wrecked. Uh, I couldn't. I, I'm done out of, you know, when that happened. So, I made a thought process on myself that I need to make sure that I prevent Guan Yu from moving and attacking me. I need him to stay in that area so he can't, you know, do the AoE on my commanders. I need to be the one attacking Guan Yu so he's focused on one area and then some of my march can potentially attack from behind, right? From the behind. <laughs> So, I made some changes, and also, I also made some changes with my talent tree. Um, I, I've i been playing with a whack tree as well, I guess I should admit that. Um, I switched my talent tree here like this instead. I realized that I've been playing with... Um, oh, I deleted it. Um, so, I was playing on the full defensive tree, and I feel like I'm losing a lot of buff, you know? You know, I lose some on the marching speed, but you know what? I'll take the risk and let me make my Richard more, um, you know, raw stats, buffier, um, or beefier, not buffier, but that was buffier. Um, and then I have two points in here only. I don't have enough. I really want to get the medicinal supplies. And I wanted to make sure that I have this balance skill. Well, only two, but it's good enough. So my entire point for this is that I have one super tanky march that has Constantine and when it goes to 50% it heals massively. Um, that's why I made that combination. So a lot of people do like Constantine Joan of Arc, which is good. But I realize what if I can just use Martel, very tanky, but can also provide the buff with Joan of Arc. 
um so that's what i did and i have them at three dps so i have my tank super tank i have my buffer right my tank is also a debuffer right and then i have my three solid march with this like an active skill damage march which is you know edward tommy ramsey's ysg guan yu alex right so that's what i've done and then when we look at this you will see am i still rank nine? Oh no i'm rank 22 on the canyons i don't have any more chances i actually defeated the top three here right i defeated butter here i just didn't have any chance as soon as i changed my setup in here so i'm still rank nine yay um now let me show you when i won right here um let's go to the stats um oops right here you guys can see the victory stats but we're gonna watch the replay okay so with this setup i made a slight changes as you can see now my constantine is going to be on this side and my martel here so what's happening here look at the buff pay attention on the buff when joan of arc cast her skill my marches here will benefit infantry health cavalry defense archer attack imagine if i have mulan there would be super dope because mulan is going to buff every type of march with all the buff that she's going to provide. Not like with Joan of Arc, it's more selective. I hope I say that right. With Joan of Arc, it's a little bit more selective in which unit type, right? Um, pay attention on the Richard and Constantine because that's the key factor here. I kept Guan Yu from that area. Imagine earlier, right? I had Martel, which is, uh, he lost and um, what is this thing called? Um, Guan Yu was able to attack us. So imagine here, I have full marches attacking them right now i have entire march still alive what a big changes just switching your tank to actually do its job to tank the dps because that is his highest dps which is the guan yu and leonidas and that's what really wrecked me earlier now i would say my equipment with him is probably up to par probably the same he has, has you know higher power than me i assume he spends a little bit more but if I'm going to try to compete somewhere here on the top, oh my god, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because they they have, you know, way better equipment than me. So let's take a look in here what I've done, um, how I lost. So maybe you guys can uh, figure things out. But honestly, I don't think I could win anyway because I know that um, he has uh, way better equipment anyway. And equipments really do matter here. Um, Here we go. So I still have my formula here um there we go i still have my three dps marches here and i have my um you know buffer and as well as the tank my richard and constantine is doing okay this time but not as good as i want it to be because I, you know his march here is just way too, you know too strong i bet he has a few legendary equipments in here that you know very very deadly um, to face him uh, with all these um, legendary equipments, honestly. Um, yeah, so we're we're getting wrecked. My Richard, you know, first one to be out, and it's also Richard's facing three of the you know the attackers there. Martel is out. My tanks are gone. No, I'm relying on my DPS. I'm actually doing quite well. I was able to remove two of the marches, eh, but not so good, right? I still need to figure out what I need to do, but I really think it's an equipment issue. So he he is quite a very strong uh, player. He's also the leader of the AVG Alliance. So he's like 209. You know, he's got to have like massive uh, equipments there. Now, one thing that I haven't optimized yet is really my talent tree here for Martel. Since I have done this with Richard, I should probably do the same thing with Martel. So I am going to be switching um, this talent tree as well next time I do my uh, canyon and see if it's going to perform actually much better. So I'm going to switch it onto full infantry like what I did with Richard. And then I am going to only add like two on the balance. Exactly the way we did with Richard, I would suggest probably that's the best way. Now keep in mind, my Richard items you know pretty normal it's not like extensively like into the epic tier or legendary um uh, my martel has the i don't know why i have the coin honestly i <laughs> i have no clue i need to remove that but as you can see i have the coin of martel i don't know what i did i must have been testing earlier um 
but it's not a bad thing to have the coin of martel too right because like it's extra shield but it get cancelled by the you know the stronger shield of his uh, primary it's not a bad thing uh but i i can't even i don't need to put it on guan yu as well um i need to put it on ramses honestly because it's as an archer one but i remove it sometimes because i try to do some testing you know i could have easily edited that out but i wanted to show you the real deal in here guys so i mean rank nine is a nice thing to be at in the lost canyon i mean i'm sure i'm going to lose it but i switch out my defense now as well so this is my new defense setup um i have my two tanks i have my three dps it's gonna be a little bit difficult for them to defeat this um the strategy to defeat this that is a secret and i'm not gonna tell you you guys can have to figure it out how you guys can defeat me if you are in the same lost kingdom um my equipment as you can see my best equipment is with ramses edward not so much uh, my best equipment as well for infantry is with guan yu but um there's that honestly hopefully you find something very helpful in here but just remember the formula is one super tank one buffer and three dps it is my formula in here for my canyon success Anyway, rockers, if you guys enjoy this content, smash that thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Thanks for being here. And if you're wondering how I'm playing this on the computer, I'm using this application called Bluestacks, which is an emulator for PC. So there's a link on my description. You can click that link and then you can download Rise of Kingdoms on your computer. Now, I also have a Discord. I'd love to invite you guys on my Discord. And if you guys have any questions, you can always hit me up on Discord or you can ask the community in our Discord. They will always help you. Anyway, rockers, thanks for being here. I will see you again next time.